What's up, good folks? It's your boy, Uncle Willie Lee, steward of shine. It's time for me to give you a proper understanding of this God color. See, there's two colors, right? That's not really colors. That'd be very important. The first, we're going to call it black. One second. All right. I see blank. Beautiful color that it is. I wear it from time to time, as you can see. Covered in blank from head to toe, right? So check this out. Blank is not a color because blank is the absence of color. The lack of hue, right? Like, first of all, we need to ask ourselves, how can a people without hue define what is human? But that's a story for another day, right? Let's deal with this blank this here. See, blank, beautiful as it is, right? Not a color. We had a national association for the advancement of color people. NAACP, what they call it, right? It excluded only one group of people. That's the people that identified as this color because it's not a color. We had color people. Then you had the people who lacked color, who lacked hue. So let's define this color. This color <clears throat> reflects all color. That's how you see this color. It is blank. Blank as a sheet of paper. Blank as a canvas, right? Don't believe me. All right, check this out. See, this color, when our ancestors first came upon people of such color, they called them blank people. How do you know this, old steward of shine? Well, if you go to the Italian word right now for this color, it is blanche. Right? Go to them Spaniards. Let's work our way to Portugal and Spain. This color is called Blanco. Ooh. So we got Blanche, we got Blanco. Ooh. Work our way over to France. What is this color called still to this day in France? Well, it's called Blanc, B-L-A-N-C. Hmm. And what was the old English word for this color? Well, the old English for this color was block, B-L-A-K, or B-L-A-C. Block, meaning blank, pale, without color, devoid of hue. Hmm. So as you can see, this color blank, the reflection of all colors is the proper term for it. It was only when it got to this merry old American form of English that we get a white so we have Blanche, we have Blanco, we have Blanc, we have Block. Where did that white come from? Story for another day. But this is blank. Now let's get to that second color. We're going to call it the color of God, though. Ooh. Ooh. All right, now that other color, right? Mm. Rocky, that color from head to toe. What's this color called? Well, I like to call it the God color. Uh. And see, you may call it black, right? You may refer to it as such. I did that. But let me beg to differ a bit. If I could challenge you just for a second. See, when you look up black in your dictionary, what do it mean? Well, it means evil, wicked, dirty, ugly, filthy, demonic, and a group of people of African or Aboriginal descent. Now, I love this color. I'm that color, right? Though I'm very shades of brown. I'm referred to as this color, and I dig that. Let me tell you why. See, as negative as that word black is, I understand that black is a spell. Words are spells. That's why you spell them. Every time we call ourselves black, we live off that curse. Uh. So, I like to call this color the God color. Why do you say God color, you ask, right? Well, this is why. See, this color, just like blank, is not a color. Uh, it's the complete sum of all colors meaning that if you combine all colors in the universe you get this color so that means it's the alpha and omega of color when it comes to light it doesn't reflect any light it absorbs all meaning that it either contains no light or it got all that light in it right so it's the beginning and the end of your light spectrum. Alpha, Omega, beginning and end. Uh, who else do we refer to as such? Why not call the color the God color? And peep game, 
Though it's not a color, being that it's the sum of all colors, we can clearly see that it's the backdrop of our universe. We can clearly see that all creation came through this color, right? God color. Check this out even more. This is the color one sees in the darkness of meditation. When you close your eyes and you're thinking in that light bulb popping, that light flashes, that's that big bang. That's this color, the God color. Check this out even more. It's the color one sees in the womb, that triple darkness. Well, all creation comes from you came out of that, right? Mm. God color. So, peep gang, though we various shades of brown, they call us black. Because black is a curse. What if we called ourselves God color? You know what they say? Well, that word is too positive. Technically, y'all really not that color. Y'all really various shades of brown. Why not be brown? Why not be coffee? Why not be chocolate? No, I love this color. I like it. And God gave me the ability to name. Who told you you can name me? Again, how can a person who know you define what is human? Clearly, I'm maximum you. Mm. So, God color. That's the principles of the philosophy. We're going to delve into it deep. We're going to get a whole bunch going on this subject. If you dig this philosophy so far, please make sure you share. And if you want to keep up with the content, see how we grow, see how the message changes, see how we lift it up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you follow. We on all your social media. Look up God Color and you shall find us.